Yeah, last week I showed you how they are going to land that rover on Mars, but it is very difficult to land a spacecraft on that planet. So yesterday afternoon, I had the chance to talk to Dr. Roger Weens. He is one of the rover's principal scientists, one of the lead scientists on the mission, and he explained why it is so hard to stick a landing on Mars. Partly because of the very thin air of Mars. It's only 1% as thick as Earth's atmosphere. So it first starts with a, a uh, aeroshell, which uh, helps to, uh, with ablation material that helps to slow the capsule down from 12,000 miles an hour to a, a few hundred miles an hour. And then the parachute comes out. But with that thin air on Mars, that only slows it down to several hundred miles an hour. And so that's not good enough to land at all. And uh, so then after that, you have to use retro rockets. And uh, so the, uh, both the Curiosity rover and now Perseverance has uh, something that is called a descent module, which uses retro rockets and then a sky crane that uh, lowers the rover on ropes down to the ground, which is a, a crazy idea, but it works. Well, since it takes 10 and a half minutes for communications from the rover to get to Earth, now think about this. By the time the rover actually touches down on Mars, we are gonna be getting a signal that it has just entered the planet's atmosphere. So that next 10 and a half minutes are gonna be very, very nervous ones for the mission team, wondering did it happen correctly or not. But tomorrow morning, we will know if it landed safely. I will have that for you. And with a little bit of luck, I'll have some of the first pictures from the rover for you as well.